Saskatchewan artists are emerging onto the international stage, and one of those leading that pack is Tom Bentley Fisher, the artistic director of Tom per Tom. Tom, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Randy. Good to be here. You've been a, a mainstay in Saskatoon and some other cities around the world, and I thought we'd bring you here today to talk a little bit about some of your history, where you're going, and some exciting things that are coming onto the stage, so to speak. Yeah, well, we are very excited about our upcoming project. I've been around for a while, even though I've been living in the States yeah. and in, in Spain. I, I ran a theatre here, 25th Street Theatre, for 12 years, developing Saskatchewan work and founding the Fringe and working with, 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 with local artists. And as I'm ageing, uh, I'm going another step. I'm really feeling that it's time that Saskatchewan started celebrating itself, celebrating its stories, its artists, and stepping into the international arena because we have a lot to say, a lot to learn, and to come out of our province proud, proud artists, and, and people. I mean, our heritage and our culture is extraordinary. And I feel very privileged to be uh, the artistic director of a company who's taken a wonderful Canadian play by uh, Métis, uh, 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 Métis writer and uh, Marie Clements and take it to Barcelona with a half Canadian, half Spanish cast and present it in one of Europe's most prestigious festivals. We were so fortunate to be accepted and to be co-produced by, by that festival. Um, and actually get that story told. So yes, it's, 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 it's terrific. It's something we've been working on for a long time. Our company basically has been taking Canadian writers, translating it into Catalan, which is Spanish, a kind of Spanish, and ca Catalan writers and translating it into English and doing exchanges. But this is our first big major production, which will hopefully then go on a European tour. I, that wouldn't happen overnight. So you, you mentioned 25th Street Theatre and then the Fringe. You were involved with the Fringe in some way from the beginning. Yeah, I was the guy who knocked on the doors and said, let's do a Fringe, and they would say, what? And then I had to put the word bus, I had to define what a busker was and ask the Star Phoenix to put it in their newspaper. <laughs> this is a few years ago. This now. is a while ago, yeah. yeah. So we've, we've come from that and, and uh, certainly a very strong track record and, and Tom Perton has been around for how long now? Tom Perton has been a law around for about seven or eight years. It was founded by Elizabeth Raffles who is the translator and executive director who is a wonderful partner, artistic partner to be working with. I came on board about six years ago and we've been developing work since then. We kind of got our kickoff about five years ago when I went and directed an all-female version of the Iliad in Barcelona and it toured for a year and uh, drew attention to our company and to our names. And we're a very small company that's been given extraordinary opportunities and sometimes that's a bit daunting. So to get this production off the ground with a large cast of commissioning a wonderful composer from, from, from uh, Barcelona, working with a filmmaker, Larry Bauman, here because it'll be filmed through the entire production, choreography, four languages, um, has been daunting and terrifying as I say and I think I'm going to be able to come, you know, pull it off. But I guess that's the risk we're taking and I think we will. Uh, Saskatchewan and, and Saskatoon has a very vibrant arts community and we seem to be uh, you know, shipping a lot of those people off to entertain elsewhere and, and that may be good in a way that we have that international uh, acclaim that's starting now. Uh, we're very active locally. People like yourself have made significant contributions. Uh, how do you see that kind of uh, evolving over time in the next two or three years with uh, you know, some of the plays at Persephone and, and other smaller theaters that are happening around Saskatoon and things like that. Is, is there a market for that? Is that something that people can look forward to? I think it's essential that we create that market. There's so many uh, new people moving into our community from so many cultures and have such strong voices and they're part of our community. And I think we need to celebrate the diversity of this community. And I think it's important that as Saskatchewan artists, we find the nerve to go that next step and not be afraid of taking those chances and saying, hey, guess what? We have very loud voices. We have very original voices. And there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be putting ourselves out there, not only to take our stories somewhere, but also to learn, to rub shoulders with the best and say, hey, we don't have to sell ourselves to Toronto, whatever. We, we're worldwide. And uh, I want to be part of that bold voice that says we can do it. 
So when we talk about Spain, is this kind of a, a launching of sorts, or is it going to be there? Does it go to L.A. or New York in the future? What well, we happen? are very lucky. I mean, we're not lucky. We work very hard on it. We have uh, we have co-producers in uh, in in Spain, and we've also received uh, a very substantial grant from Creative Saskatchewan and the Canada Council, so we have a very good budget. With that budget, and the reason we've received it, is because we have a lot of interest uh, worldwide in this production. So we have a number of producers coming from Australia, from England, who are looking at the possibility of touring this play, and hopefully it'll even come back to Canada. That'd be great. Yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. Um, it, in terms of the, uh, the people that you're hiring and working with, some are from Spain and some are from here? Or yes, it's a cast of 10, 10 or 11. And it's basically half of them are, 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 are from, Cat, from, from the Catalan area of Spain, half of them are from Canada. Uh, some of the artists are Dene. So we'll, the language is spoken will be Japanese, Dene, English, and Catalan without surtitles. Um, trying, and basically what we're trying to find is a universal language. The play itself is about the discovery of uranium in the Dene community and about a prophecy that took place uh, a century and a half ago about what was going to happen with that uranium. The ra uranium that was discovered was actually used in the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So there are characters in the play called uh, Little Boy and uh, Fat Man, which are the name of the bombs. Uh, it's a very poetic piece, and it's not just being, it's not strictly anti-uranium, but it is basic, basically saying, what are the dangers of mass destruction? And very interesting that today in the news that, uh, you know, this whole uranium industry is growing rapidly in Saskatchewan. So the play is not preachy, but it is saying, hey, way back in the 1940s, the sky was blown apart. There was a hole broken in the sky. I mean, there, the world will never be the same again. Is this going to divide us as a worldwide community, or is there some way of unifying us? And I think that this play is saying, okay, maybe there is a way of us finding a unification and finding a common language and a common concern and reaching out with an understanding which serves humanity. When, and, and, and as an artist, that's the kind of play that I want to be involved with. And I'm kind of astounded because that's kind of a dangerous area for us to enter. I'm astounded at the support that we're receiving, and I feel that we're going to approach it, I hope we approach it with a lot of integrity and a lot of honesty, and we're able to create a discussion that is beyond just our local community, but with other people around the world about what this means now to us. So this has not been performed anywhere at this, this point? This was performed, yes. Uh, when, uh, this was not performed, it was performed in English, uh, and it was written in uh, 2004 by Marie Clements. When I came back from living in the United States for seven years, I looked and thought, what is the most interesting theater that's gone on, right? And that was the play that we found. So we have translated it, developed it. Uh, I've been working with the actors in Barcelona, uh, and the toy maker I've hired from uh, Mallorca to do the, the props, and a wonderful designer there. And one of, I think, Saskatchewan's major gifts to film, which is Larry Bauman, who's been, who, who is a Saskatchewan filmmaker, who will be doing the film throughout the entire play. The whole thing will be done within a huge circle of screens and uh, bringing all of those elements together with live music, actors, is going to be quite a spectacle, I think. So when we, we have the, uh, uh, the play itself, but there's, there's a message there that you said, and, and I think that that rings true with what you're saying about having that voice and speaking out and uh, the, the timing of this is uh, spectacular. It is pretty yeah. spectacular. Yeah. Um, when, we, uh, when we look at those people who are performing, are they all fluent in those languages or are no. they learning these? No. Uh, no. It's, How it's, does that I, 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 I'm not sure. I've just said I'm going to do it and people have bought it and we're going to do it. So I will have one actor speaking in Catalan to another actor speaking in Diné and another actor speaking in, in English. And hopefully through the choreography and the images, we are going to be able to find a meaning that will touch everybody. So it's quite an artistic experiment. <laughs> well, that, that's interesting because if, uh, if there's no surtitles or subtitles that, that you're pasting up anywhere, uh, I guess that's where we rely truly on that acting. If we look at silent film as an example, that, that uh, acting had to come through because there was no voice. Here we have the voice but not understanding the language and the acting would have to portray that message. That's right, in the sense of poetry. I mean, we have 
It's an incredible play. We have you know, flying fish and uh, trees growing from the sky. And I mean, it's, 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 it's a beautiful piece of work. And it touches us emotionally rather than intellectually. I actually tried staged readings of the play in Barcelona, and people didn't understand it because they felt it was a history lesson, right? About what is native culture like here. And when I finally was said to an audience, don't try to understand it. Let yourself go with it. Then I found the clue as to how to direct it. And as long as I never let the play land, where we're actually trying to figure out, well, what does this mean, what does this mean, what does this mean? And we can hear it with something other than our ears and see it with something other than our eyes, but actually feel it. The play is extremely moving and extremely universal. And the actors I know from Barcelona are just gaga about this piece of work because they feel it's so important and so beautiful. And as an artist, I guess, too, at my age, I want to be involved with plays that are socially, socially significant, which have something to say, which are out there to help in its modest way, help change the world, make the world a better place. I mean, that may sound very pompous, but that's our job. That's our job as artists, to be actually reflecting something, not necessarily as it is, but what we hope it can become. I think you're the perfect person to do that, and I congratulate <laughs> you with all of your work that you've done, and we look forward to bringing that here and seeing it and sharing that with the rest of the world. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Randy. Yeah.